With his office beginning to look a little bare, Gary Espelin is getting ready to leave his post as St. George City Manager forever. Well, as you clean out your desk and, and you remember things that have happened over the years and you remember you know, the, this challenge or, or this success that you may have had, and so it brings back fond memories and it also brings back uh, a little bit of a the fear of the challenge that's coming forward, you know. Gary Esplin has been the city manager of St. George for 41 years. That makes him the longest standing city manager in the country. Typically, city managers stay an average of four to five years. Esplin started and will end his career with the same city. I graduated from Brigham Young University with a master's degree in 1976 and came to work here. And I was appointed uh, city manager on my birthday in 1976, December. And so it's been a, uh, an incredible journey to see the city at that time was about 12,000 people. To go to a, around 80 to 100,000 people has allowed me to, to progress as a city manager and stay in the same uh, community and sleep in the same bed. On Friday, Espelin will hand over 54 projects to the new city manager, Adam Lenhard. I've had an opportunity to meet Adam and uh, and I think he's an uh, up-and-coming young man in the profession and he's, he's got the uh, experience and, and to jump in and provide youthful vigor and, and take the community to the next stage. Despite the number of years he's served, it's a rare occasion Esplin is seen in the limelight. Esplin said one of the biggest challenges he's had during his tenure was to provide jobs for people who grew up and wanted to stay here. You know, we've got to make sure that we handle the crime that, that comes along with growing communities and, and trying to, to do, de deal with the need for water. You know, that's going to be the biggest challenge probably is how to accommodate the water resources that are necessary for, for growth. And, and so those are just challenges that a, the new city manager will have to, to deal with, like we did in the previous decades. Born and raised in St. George, Gary Espelin put his life's dreams into keeping the downtown alive. Having an opportunity to have my hand in and bringing the downtown back a little bit by building Town Square and an the electric theater and some of those things that I remember growing up and be able to bring them back to life was a, an incredible opportunity. And maybe working on the airport, the airport was probably the most complicated deal uh, that was done in my tenure. Espelin says he's leaving a legacy of bringing people together for the common good of the people. We get together and, and we work it out with it not being one department's problem, but being a citywide problem. And I think that working relationship that we have there, and, and a little bit beyond that, is, a, is the working relationship we've cultured with the school district and the county and the conservancy district. And I'm not sure there's a place in the country that enjoys the working relationship we have with all the other governmental entities. And one of his biggest dreams that came true was the building and completion of the All Abilities Park. And that was from the heart. And, uh, and I go by there about every day on my way home, and I see all the cars there, and I see all the kids. And, and that will be something I'll forever remember and be ever so grateful that I got a, to play a small part in, in that park, and that's something I'll cherish. Like the eagles he collects, Espelin stands strong for what he believes in, while at the same time understanding the need to be free. The employees gave me my first eagle uh, a number of years ago, and the eagle is a symbol of freedom, and it's a symbol of being up high and looking down over, and as a city manager, you can't be focused on one, you have to be looking over the entire area and the entire community and all the very various facets of that community and so therefore you know I think it, it symbolizes a lot in this country and something I'm proud to be part of this this country. And As for his next chapter in life? Oh, I'm going to try to stay active and, and I want to professionally as well I mean not full-time but maybe dabble in the consulting businesses a little bit just to see if anybody wants to utilize the years of knowledge that I've gained. Like other forefathers who served before him, Espelin believes St. George is a great place to live. And he says he couldn't have accomplished all he did without the support of others. You know, I can only thank my previous department heads, my previous employees of the city who are dedicated to doing their jobs. And, you know, I've had, I think, 20 or 21 city council people over that period of time and, and four mayors. And, 
without them, obviously, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. And so I would just tell him thanks and uh, appreciate their support over the years. He says he plans to continue to stay involved in the community, but may also take in some traveling. And we're going to travel and see our grandkids and see the world. You know, over the years, we never really got outside uh, our country because, you know, we were kind of tied to being here. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.